Yo, welcome back to Very Train. My name's Josh and I'm happy to be here. It's a gorgeous day out here at the range. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm excited to be here today. Well, I tried to do it on my GoPro, but I'm telling you what, the more I use the GoPro, the less I'm happy. This thing overheats so much, so quick, all the time. I can't even make a video. So here, I'm doing it today with my phone. So we're gonna see how this goes. Anyway, what's the point of the video today? The video today is going to be about shooting your bow more accurately. What's the biggest problem? The biggest problem that I had when I first started it was so frustrating was, man, my pins keep moving. There's gotta be a trick to stop my pins moving in front of the target. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is not the case. John Dudley, Cameron Haynes, or anybody else that's in the professional world of hunting or shooting a bow, they're not holding it still 100%. I can tell you what they are doing though. Here's the number one trick that maybe you don't wanna hear. Repetition, 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 practice. A well-executed shot, that's where the magic happens. The second thing that I wanted to talk to, to you about today was <clears throat> what are we looking at when we look through our sights? What are we looking at in there? Well, I am a gun hunter now that I'm in archery. It's a little different, all right? Everything's magnified to a, a huge amount. Any mistakes you make while shooting a gun translates over probably tenfold to a bow. So what am I trying to say? Well, I'm trying to say is not jerking the trigger on a gun is the same for not jerking your thumb release or your wrist release on your bow. Much more important on a bow because those fundamental flaws are really gonna show when you shoot the bow. What we're actually looking at when we're looking through our sights, all right, when we're looking through our pins. You know, when we gun hunt, we put our crosshairs on the target and we focus on putting that, that crosshair on the target. And once we're actually going to take that shot, what we have in focus, we typically tend to look at a clear picture of the crosshairs, right? So the crosshairs are in focus while the target or the sight picture is not in focus. On a bow, I want you to try this. You can take it out today after work. You can take it out tonight. You can take it out in the morning if you get up early enough and go to the range or you want to shoot, but you can take it out today, make a huge difference in your accuracy. When you're looking through your peep sight and your sights, get your pen on your target. All right, now I'm not going to go through the whole shot sequence that maybe you should be doing every time because consistency is another key every time you go to release an arrow. But what I am going to say is, when you're anchored in and you're looking through your sight, put your pin on your put your pin on your target and then focus on your target, leaving your pin blurry and then slowly pull 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 pull, 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 pull and release. See how that works for you. Look at where you're going to shoot. Bring that into focus. All right, here's a good example of what I'm talking about. You see in this example where the actual pins are in focus, but the target is not in focus. That's what I used to look at when I first started shooting my bow. And when I go gun hunting, that's how my crosshairs look. My crosshairs are in focus over the target when I go to squeeze that trigger slowly for a good shot. But what I'm challenging you to do is the opposite. Get your pin on your target get the target in focus, look at the point you are trying to shoot. Don't have your pins in focus. Do your little mantra, whatever it is. Joshy pull, Joshy pull, Joshy pull, and squeeze and release. I don't know what it is, something stupid. Who knows? But there should be a shot sequence and there should be something that you do every time, all the time, in repetition. And you should be doing it a lot because why? Well, if you're a hunter, you owe it to that animal to become proficient, to make a humane kill. All right? You're never going to hold those pens still, ever. No one does. You can do some strength training. All right, so get out from being lazy. Quit watching my stupid video. Go try something. Go learn something. Go do something better. Much love. Very trained. Josh, see ya. Bye-bye.